so editorial session good morning yeah scroll the thought of the yeah, it's okay today's editorial is about the on arrest and summons under the gst law setting higher requisites for arrest or summons under the gst law is a welcome move is a welcome move so arrest or summons so what is the difference between arrest and summons if you want to take action against anyone for that you need to summon and after that some person that person will be you know, appear before the authority or whatever the authority arrest means you are arresting a person physically this is the difference so they will be now the government not government basically the cbic board is planning to setting higher requisites for the arrest or summons under the gst law and it's a welcome move at said by the apex court of the india apex means supreme court of the india you yeah, scroll scroll leo patrick so uh, august 20 2022 the central board of indirect taxes and custom through four different communiques this week has altered the enforcement process for tax invaders in both customs as well as goods and service tax matters so there are four different types of the notification as issued by the cbic what is the <clears throat> purpose of having a cbic board the cbic board basically manages the laws related to the customs and the indirect taxes custom in india if anything if you import and export outside india or inside india in that case custom law will be applicable suppose if you import anything from china in that case there will be a duty that you need to pay yeah it's a custom law gst means if you do the sale purchase in india it's a gst in india it's a gst so there are two types of the indirect taxes law yeah managed by the cbic central board of indirect taxes and customs and recently this board have issued four different types of the notification communiques means your yeah, notification official announcement yeah, something like that regarding for the tax invaders in both customs and goods and service tax matters you yeah, scroll <clears throat> so first it significantly raise the monetary threshold for initiating the prosecutions and arrest under the custom act so first that means the first notification they have significantly raised the monetary limit to start any types of the prosecutions that means uh, any type of the action you yeah, are the legal action against anyone and arrest that means the physically arresting someone under the custom acts the first notification is all about the custom custom is related to the import export separately the board laid down elaborate the guidelines for the gst official before they exercise their power to arrest and issue summons under the central gst law so the board board here board means cbic okay board means cbic board central board of indirect taxes laid down elaborate guidelines for the gst officials officials means uh, authorities officers gst officers before they exercise uh, exercise their power to arrest anyone and issue summons under the central gst law so there are few types of the guidelines issued by the board uh, to the gst official before exercising their power to arrest or issue summons under the central gst law while such norms were laid down for the legacy laws governing taxes such as central excise that are now subsumed into the gst cbc felt the need to issue the fresh guidelines so subsumed means mil jana okay that means uh, a particular tax got merged into another tax uh, before gst there was a separate law for the manufacturing if you do manufacturing in that case you need to pay central excise but when in 2016 when gst law got uh, uh, introduced in india then the central excise law got subsumed into the gst subsumed means merged into the gst and cbic felt the need to issue the fresh guidelines because the previous guidelines was issued for the central excise but now we need the guidelines for the gst officials that's why cbic issued few more guidelines that means the updated guidelines for the gst officials 
so cbse previously the name of cbse board was the cbec central board of excise and customs but now it's a cbic central board of indirect taxes and customs so this one the the name of the board also changed when we brought the gst in india okay scroll <clears throat> the saman checklist uh, the saman checklist checklist means there are few questions uh, in saman uh, whether you are uh, you have done this particular transaction yes or no whether you did this whether you invaded tax whether you charge a uh, uh, low rate of the taxes whether you paid your taxes by due date uh, there are few checklists that means the questionnaire for instance is take note of the routine issuance of the summons to the top officials of the firm even for procuring the records available on the gst portal okay so there are few summons checklists if suppose a gst official want to get the access of record of any businessman any business or any businessman in that case there are few guidelines so while uh, starting the any types of the prosecutions against anyone the gst official need to follow that particular guidelines issued by the cbic okay and it specify that cxo and md of any firm i do not know what is cxo but your md means managing director of any firm you can say cxo means ceo md that means the particular person who are authorized to do take a particular transaction md of any firm must not generally be summoned in the first instances suppose if you did anything wrong in gst or custom in that case gst official cannot take directly action against you by summoning you by arresting you in that case there will be few guidelines that means first you need to ask that whether you have done this particular violation of this law if yes in that case if that person voluntarily yeah make correct all the mistakes and um, all the mistakes that he had done in that case it's okay yeah no need to summon no need to ask uh, to anything else no need to arrest him okay so no need to arrest him i think it's off where is hmm Where is your screen? It might be on the side, on your side. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not here. <clears throat> okay. Ah, huh. okay. Subsume in the first instances, but only when their involvement in tax invasion is clearly ind indicated. If you do the tax invasion and it's a clearly, that means the explicitly, yeah, uh, you got to know that yeah, this particular person had done. something that is illegal to this particular law in that case you can summon an arrest at the same time the invasion of the tax should have some substantial amount of the monetary limit suppose you if invaded uh, 10000 it is no uh, nothing here. if you see from the broader perspective but if you invaded tax around 10 lakh 10 crore in that case here it's a substantial amount it, it matters a lot so summon in the first instances but only when their involvement in tax invasion is clearly indicated so there are two types of the terms that are used in tax laws that means the tax invasion and tax planning so there is a difference between tax invasion and tax planning if you do tax planning by using the legal means of any uh, path of any law in that case yeah it's okay but if you do anything that is illegal then it's tax invasion and tax invasion leads to the prosecutions and may leads to the physical arrest as well okay yeah scroll <clears throat> scroll <clears throat> uh, not visible Hello, hello guys. Okay. Good afternoon. <clears throat> so an so an approval process that requires officers to record reasons for issuing summons 
has been muted to ensure that the power is exercised judicially and even as they have been advised to consider where simple letters may suffice so if you want to do summon anyone in that case you should have some regions to issue any summons and whatever the powers that gst officer is being exercised should be judicially proven okay that means uh, not to contradictory to the laws and regulations what we have and the norms spelled out for the arrest and bail for the gst offenses that is stem from a supreme court judgment the norms spelled out for the arrest and bail for the gst offenses that stem from a supreme court judgment that means uh, this notification was issued after a judgment by the supreme court suppose there was a dispute between the cbic and a taxpayer and that taxpayer was being summoned by the cbic authority and now that taxpayer approaches to the high court and after that supreme court okay after that supreme court and the the matter goes to the supreme court and supreme court laid out few guidelines that you cannot arrest anyone yeah directly there should be some evidence there should be some reasons to arrest anyone okay if you do not have reasons in that case here yeah, you cannot do arrest uh, directly and after that your yeah, cbic bring few guidelines and now we are reading the all those guidelines i think i should read from pdf so i will read from the pdf the prerequisites laid down, laid out before an arrest include the availability of the credible evidence uh, cre credible evidence of wrong doings as a starting point that means the principal condition to arrest anyone there should be some credible evidence that means the in principle evidence that yeah that per uh, that person have did something that is wrong in the law in that case here yeah, you can uh, further initiate the pro, uh, whatever the actions that person deserve in that case here yeah, it's okay otherwise you cannot do any type of the actions against that particular person however approval to arrest would hinge on whether the intent to in invade tax or wrongful avail tax benefit is evident okay however approval to arrest that means if you want to do arrest in that case that uh, that person should have intention to ev invade the tax that means the uh, tax invasion and wrongful availment of tax benefit what is the meaning of tax benefit here in uh, in gst it's uh, input tax credit suppose what is the input tax credit if you purchase suppose if you are a businessman and if you purchase any raw material from a manufacturer and you pay gst on it and now you are selling the those uh, then you basically selling those raw materials and maybe a finished goods product to anyone else then whatever the tax that you have paid you will get the credit of that particular tax yeah as a input tax credit so it's a tax benefit means the input tax credit in gst is evident evidence means the clearly uh, explicitly and guilty mind is play, uh, palpable i do not know what is palpable yeah but there should be some guilty mind yeah from the tax ayer taxpayer and as well culpable hona chahiye i think uh, not palpable culpable i think culpable means doable okay mere disagreement on interpretation a tax levy should not result in an arrest okay that means if you have disagreement on the interpretation of the tax laws in that case that should not result in an arrest suppose the taxpayer have some different view and the cbsc official have some different view in that case cbsc official cannot initially start the prosecution related to the arrest here yeah, that those disputes should be resolved in the court okay the board had said here again the board meaning cbsc had said underlying that the power to arrest must be exercised carefully as it implicates a personal liberty that means it hurts the personal liberty of someone if you arrest someone that means you are basically snatching the liberty of someone so that power should be exercised very carefully board uh, the supreme court also said although the cbsc took a year to respond to the apex court conclusion that arrest must not be made just because it can be made okay that means the supreme court judgment was uh, maybe 2 to 3 years old and now after cbsc basically did uh, something uh, by issuing some guidelines so it was too late that you can, and after that 
the supreme court that apex court means the supreme court also said that you cannot arrest anyone just because it can be made it's a written that you can do the arrest but yeah uh, you should not do you should also check the few more the additional fact like uh, the monetary terms of the tax invasions uh, any uh, anyone else uh, maybe she is maybe uh, it may be due to the mistakes of the cas it may be due to the mistakes of the accountants maybe due to the mistakes of the employee so you should also consider the additional fact as well okay so you cannot uh, initiate the direct proceedings related to the arrest so it is not good uh, as, as supreme court also said apex court means supreme court okay it latest uh, dictates will assures this uh, comfort among the gst payers about the tax terror of a new variety so if you do the arrest anyone that it will uh, basically spread the tax terror of a new variety among the gst tax payers so you should have some laws that basically do not spread any types of the tax terror of a new variety that means bear between the uh tell gst tax payer that if you do not follow this particular then you will be get arrest immediately by the uh, cbsc authority so tax laws and whatever the guidelines uh, issued by the cbsc authority should be in such way that do not spread any types of the tax terror of a new variety okay while the gst council will continue to navigate the remaining clean up of the exemption so gst council and cbsc both are different GST Council means Nirmala Sitharaman is the head of the GST Council, and one finance minister, that means uh, with mantri from each state on union territory, yeah, uh, maybe Delhi and Pondicherry have the assembly from each assembly, and they basically do the voting. Uh, this is how a GST Council is being formed, and here majority concept apply. Yeah, suppose if we want to increase the rate of anyone, like sup recently the uh, government basically. put a gst 5% on the uh, day to day a uh, package food like dairy milk not dairy milk here yeah, milk package milk or few more food items so gst council basically passed that resolution to basically impose 5% taxes on these items so this is how your yeah, gst basically work gst council will continue to navigate the remaining clean up of exemptions and inverted duty structures so what is the meaning of clean up exemptions means there are few exemptions like on agriculture product there is no gst suppose if you basically purchase milk yeah, un unpackaged item if you purchase milk from your dood wala in that case you need not to pay gst but if you purchase dood uh, from not dood your yeah, milk from the any handloom any um, that means the anything here yeah, uh, and that particular item is packaged in that case you need to pay taxes but uh, uh, if you do not want to pay taxes then government have basically made few listed a uh, list for the exemption exemption list we call it as a exemption list and what is the inverted duty uh, structures uh, suppose if you are a person and what is uh, your business is you basically uh, uh, impo uh, basically purchase uh, raw material related to the wood and then you make um, furnitures and then you export those furnitures outside india like usa and western countries but if you basically purchase raw material that means the wood from anyone here yeah? in that case if you paid gst suppose 12% but when you export but in india we do not have any types of the duty on export suppose you paid only 0% that means you are paying 12% and uh, when you do the export then you, you are paying uh, 0% in that case it's a inverted that means you are paying 12% to the raw material provider and you are paying uh, you are basically charging 0% so uh, government do not wants that exp uh, export should be more expensive in that case government basically have some laws for the inverted duty structures in that case you can easily get refund whatever the taxes that you have paid to the raw material provider that means you will get the refund of 12% taxes that means the gst that you have paid to the raw material provider because you do not you cannot take the input tax credit because you do not have anything to pay it because export are basically a 0% here a custom duty on anything is 0% in that case you cannot pay so it's a better to get refund so it's a inverted duty structure and revamp of the messy multiple tax rate with an eye on revamping up the revenue from still involving tax regime easing its complying and hassle is equally critical that means you yeah, do something that makes everything easy and do not spread any types of the tax terror among the gst tax uh, payer 
taxpayer and official can always differ on what the fine print means and oversight or mistakes may crop up in filling that may not necessarily be malified so malified uh, and bona fide bona fide in good faith malified that means the bad faith okay if you do something that is in intensely and, and and you know that it's illegal in that case your intention is malified but if you do something and you do not know that something is illegal then in that case you are bona fide but it's still it's illegal you will not get the harsh punishment by the cbsu authority but you need to pay the nominal amount of the penalty as prescribed by the law okay so distinguishing distinguishing these forms genuinely evasive close of a few taxpayer following a well reasoned process to prosecute those who are by design will go a long way in making the gst a truly good and simple tax for business rather than a phrase be a factor to the plate yeah there are few words that even i do not know here it's very critical you can do the google but yeah i think the last vera uh, supreme court said that we should make gst in such way that make basically everything good and simple rather than uh, a bearing factor on the taxpayer okay so i think what is the tone of the editorial i think it's a analytical tone and maybe critical analytical analytical yeah it's analytical tone personally i also feel it's analytical tone and maybe critical that is uh, uh, too much analysis in the even the supreme court judgment uh, cbsi as well analysis the supreme court judgment judgment and then issues few guidelines in that case which may be the critical okay thank you so much thank you brother i also think it's analytical hmm you yeah, you can off the screen sharing liberty